Laundry day feels like it is really just a never ending cycle. You put the clothes in the hamper, then the washer, then the dryer and repeat. But there's nothing better than fresh sheets on your bed after a long day. If only there were a way to extend that freshness. If you're looking for the ultimate in fresh sheets, you're in luck. We're being joined by essential oils expert Emily Paulson, and she's here showing us how we can whip up a DIY linen spray that will keep things fresh for longer than you think. Welcome. Thanks, Brittany. Thanks for having me back. Yes, I'm so excited because I had this idea from a friend who bought some DIY linen spray, mm -hmm. pretty expensive, yeah. and looked at the ingredients and was like, Hey, I'm going to save you all the trouble. <laughs> it's basically essential oils. Yes. Don't pay for something super yes. expensive. So yes. the essential oils expect expert is here and ready yes. to share a recipe with us. Yes. Yeah. So it's super simple and there are things that you can do, whether it's wanting to freshen sheets or wanting to set a mood, whether it is sleep or like a sensual spray um, or helping uh, little ones that have like night terrors or, or nightmares. There are oils you can use to help with that. And it's going to cost you pennies on the dollar compared to what you pay if you buy it in the store and you know what's in it. So you know that you're using the pure essential oils and they don't have any fillers or fragrance added to it. So tell me a little bit more about that way when it comes to the ingredients because it's easy just to grab Febreze or some mm -hmm. type of spray off the shelf. Mm -hmm. Yeah, super easy to grab it. And I love convenience, but this DIY will make you feel like, like it's just as convenient because it takes more time to run to Target to pick this up than it will to make it. And so if you're using those ingredients, you can use a website called EWG, the Environmental Working Group, and it'll actually rate the toxins or the carcinogens or potential allergen, allergens within each product. And if that product isn't listed on the website, you can look up the specific ingredients in there. And if you look at the label of Febreze, there's quite a few things. And now having not used fragrance for so long, it gives me a headache instantly. Right, I could see how that could be a problem, yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's get started right away so that we can make sure we have time to put this together. Yeah. What ingredients do you use to make a DIY linen mist? Yeah. Okay, well, so easy. So you use the essential oils that you want to choose. There are some recipes that I have set out here that we'll talk about. You use water, about a half a cup of water, and about a quarter cup of witch hazel in an eight ounce spray bottle. This is an ultra fine mist one, so it gives the Febreze-like misting of it. So you can use it as a room freshener, as well as a linen or like freshening couches before guests come over or something like that. Or um, I have a little spray bottle here that I use for monster spray. It has a super cute label says sleepy on it and use this for my kids and then they feel super empowered being able to spray their sheets to help support sleep which every parent wants for their kids. So obviously you probably want to use certain essential oils if you're going to be mm -hmm. going like the sleep route. Yes, yep, absolutely. So the essential oils that I have here, there is no adulteration, there's no contamination to it. They're tested 13 minimum, a minimum of 13 times to ensure purity and potency and the organic growth of the plant. It's all sourced globally. So organic means something different in Madagascar than it does in the US. And so there's no pesticides or herbicides. They are pure and safe as if you were laying lavender on your pillowcase. Oh, I love the sound of that. Let's get started. Yeah. All right, so when we're doing this, what essential oils would you recommend? Yeah, so if you are wanting to set more of a sleep mode or sleep mood, Serenity is my favorite for that. So this is a blend of essential oils. I'll let you smell it. And mm. it is all it's calming. It's very calming. It's very highly sedative essential oils. And if somebody doesn't love the floral fragrance of lavender, this does have lavender, but it also has cedarwood and vetiver and hoho wood and some very um, amazing grounding earthy tone essential oils. Okay. So yeah. if I was making something to be able to spray like my couches, mm -hmm. That I probably don't want to really give, you know, the sleepy vibe off to. I just want yes. to freshen up my space. What would you yes. use for that? Yeah, so that, I love this blend here, Adaptive and Grapefruit. And so I think I've shown you my scientific way of knowing if I like a smell. <laughs> um, and it's just rubbing or running the oils under your nose. Awesome. And so Adaptive is really great for like any this one. Yeah, grapefruit. Which is weird because I uh -huh. hate the taste. I hate flavored yeah. anything grapefruit. Yeah. But I like the smell. Yeah. I like this one too, but yeah. it's really fresh. Yes, yep. And so this helps with emotional support, this combo here, um, like getting wiggles out or just like creating an uplifting environment. Any citrus is gonna do that. So this is a really great option there. Or Balance and Wild Orange. Um, they are very great for sleep or for setting um, 
a very pleasant aroma uh, in like a living room. Oh yeah, that's good mm -hmm. too. Do you wanna make this one? Yeah, let's do that one. Yeah, okay. So how many parts of each thing do you need to create this mist? So we are gonna put them in a little cup here. Do you want to? Sure. Take care, we'll need a quarter cup of the witch hazel. And here's a quarter cup here. And then this is filtered water. You can use distilled water. I just don't use tap water um, to make it as pure as possible. Right, that makes sense. All right, so we have a quarter cup of witch hazel. Yep. And then half a cup of water. And then how many drops of each essential oil? So we're gonna do eight to 10 drops of each. Okay. Do you wanna take wild orange and I'll take sure. balance and we'll just double it? I think mine came out a little bit faster. Yeah, citruses are pretty runny. And then you basically just mix it up and pour it in? Yeah, you can just pour it in here as oh gosh, is. I hope I can not spill oh. anywhere. Okay. <laughs> so one thing I was gonna ask though is when you spray things onto like your couch or furniture or bed, you don't want it to like leave a residue or wreck it. Yeah. So are these safe when it comes to that? 100%, yep. So I even use them as like a DIY body mist. Like I loved Love Spell. That was my signature scent Victoria's in high Secret. school. Yes, um, but it's so bad for you. And so this one, it'll take just a minute to get going there. But you can like press it down and it'll go a continuous yeah. spray. If you hold it, hold it down. Yeah, just like that. Oh yeah. Yes. So this will not leave a residue. It will not. It will not ruin any fabrics that it comes in contact mm -hmm. with. Um, and I just sprayed some on myself this morning. I'm wearing a white top, and so right. I would not do that if it was harmful to do. Um, so it's very safe for fa fabric. You can actually use it as a cleaner with fabric with different oils and different uh, a couple different ingredients within there. Oh, good to know. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming in and sharing this with us, so we can make our own. Yes. Go have fun. And make your own uh, natural linen mist. Yes, and it smells really, really good. So get started over the break. We'll be right back with more Kelloway and Living after this.